The purpose of the Global CFO Council is to provide an educational and networking forum for senior financial executives in order to share best practices, discuss current financial issues, and to learn about current topics related to the performance of their jobs. Good morning, Jeff Barton. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Robert? I'm doing fantastic. I, when we started this and I popped on the video, I thought that is a handsome man right there in front of me. Before me, my eyes, a, a bald man with a little bit of a beard and a blue shirt. Mm. Damn. Thought you were looking in the mirror, right? Oh, my gosh. I was like, Jeff Barton is a handsome man. And uh, Jeff Barton is also, I think if this is correct, the vice president of finance at Greystone Alloys and Dyna Alloy Industries. Dyna Alloy. Yep. Dyna Alloy. Pretty close. Now, do you get paid twice for me the VP of two things? I do not. All right. I think before that, it looked like you had an interesting career in the uh, banking industry. Is that true? Yeah, it is true. And then got your undergraduate, appropriately, in finance and banking from Sam Houston State University. Eat them up. And I graduated from the Kennesaw State University. And if we ever won enough playoff games we'd get to Sam Houston. I always see you in the bracket and uh, we never get very far, but y'all are always up there in contention um, on the way to losing to North Dakota State. Yep, that's how it always happened every single year. Yeah, those people need to graduate and move up and start playing Clemson. Hey, they need to do something. Well, uh, we are getting out of the Southland Conference now. We are we are going to the Y, so that's something that'll be new. So I don't know what the future holds there. It'll be interesting, but it'll be, you know, straight D1, making that jump. Wow. Yeah. Jeff, all right, this is where it gets sketchy. Sometimes I, I do a little internet research, and I, I find stuff out about a Jeff Barton, but just not you, okay? So I don't promise that any of this is true, but I think that you have a wife and two kids. That is correct. And it just proves that bald man with a little bit of a beard and blue shirts can – can marry up because you, like I, have a beautiful wife. If the pictures I found are any indication, well done. And I think you're also a fan of Jim Cramer. I do. I do like to watch him a little bit. Yep. I'm going to call that a success. You're a Houston Astros fan? I am. You like to play or watch golf? I do very much so. And Outside, you know, my wife doesn't like it that much, but that's okay. Of course. Of course. And are you a fan of the movie Tommy Boy? I am. Jeff, we're like the same person. That's all right. some good research. This is getting a little scary. Yes, I, I tell people all the time, don't put anything on the internet. You don't want me to find it. <laughs> Let's get started, Jeff. back to the MySpace days. I don't know. <laughs> For sure. Oh, I was huge on MySpace. I had like, I had like 11 friends. <laughs> Question number one, Jeff, what is your favorite business book? And why? So I'm not that big of a reader, but one of the ones that I think everybody has in, in, in the professional world is um, How to Win Friends. Um, so, I mean, I, I did read that, and that was more so from kind of a early on in my in my banking career, going through the, the credit training programs. Hey, you know, how do I look at things, try to figure out how leadership is looking, see, see what that's about. So um, going through that, book kind of opened my eyes to a lot of things some a lot of things that i kind of already had in my mind already did and certain things that i still have to kind of focus on but um if that's the one that's probably one of maybe two business books that i've ever read um i like more historical type books so you know the lone survivor things like that well if you're only going to read two that's a really good book to read so well done yep. question number two what is the best advice that you have ever received uh, this is definitely more personal than business, but I think it definitely helps. Um, something my grandparents always told me was, and this is more from my marriage, is never go to sleep angry. Um, something that has helped us very much so in our about to be 11 years of marriage. Um, as much as we don't like it sometimes, it's I, I make a point every single time if there's any kind of misunderstanding, whatever it is at night, hey, now, let's squash it, let's go, let's get it over with and then be done. So as much as my wife doesn't like it, she does like it at the end of the day, she's like, okay, she can wake up refreshed. We're good to go. That's good. Good advice. 
Um, what about a new tool that you've recently started using or a habit that you have recently picked up that you have found beneficial? Uh, so I have started a diet again and I started, so it's a group of buddies and we're competitive, so we can't just do things just because so we put a little bit of money on it to get a little incentive. Um, we're doing it from January 1st to July 4th, or January 4th to July 4th. And we're doing this percentage weight there and then we're doing monthly things in between that. But starting from there, um, you know, we do percentage wise and all that kind of stuff. Already down a, a pretty good amount, which is good. Uh, feel better, have more energy, everything like that. And it's just something that I do every probably three or four years, get back down and then do that. But it's it's better for, for me. I can actually do stuff with the kids easier, not sitting there helping and puffing. So that is something I started doing recently. Well, here's a test to how competitive you are. If you're at my level, you have been looking up a cheesecake of the month or cookie of the months to send to the competition. So we have tried to sabotage a little bit every now. We do send pictures of pizza and, you know, pluckers and all that fun stuff. Uh, one of the guys loves hot dogs. It's just his thing. So we send a lot of hot dog pictures. Oh, yeah. I would mail it to their house, man. I don't send pictures. Like, I would, like, be – I'd door dash them, like, the worst food wherever they live. See, I, I'm too cheap to actually, you know, spend money on that. I'm, I'm going to – I'll do that after, you know, my winnings come in. And then I'll start splurging a little bit, but until then. Well, that's awesome. We're all on our own personal wellness journey, so keep it up. It's a great thing, and I – I think that our kids will follow our example before they'll follow our advice. So being healthy, um, I think it's great. So great job, Jeff. Thank you. Jeff, you got two jobs. So you can give a twofer if you want with this next question. But the question is, what is your favorite part of your current job? Um, that That is actually kind of one of the best parts of it is working for two companies. Um, one is a, a manufacturer. The other one is scrap metal recycling. Um, they are sister companies, so they, there is some interaction between as far as procurement material and the back and forth that way. Um, being able to see both sides has kind of helped me grow. I, obviously, my my banking background, you know, I don't have, I guess, your your typical VP of finance upbringing from that standpoint as far as, you know, staff account and bringing, you know, working way up there. Um, the owner here you know, at Greystone was one of my customers when I was at the bank you know, for 10 years and got to know him really well and really was kind of one of the ones that I could have more of a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship didn't have to be as PC your typical you know prototypical banker talk um, so I think that's something that you know whenever I did make this the small move from the one I was at for 10 years um, he would have felt bad for trying to poach me from them but it was it was a step I needed to take to get to where I am now so it's definitely helped. Um, certainly helps the banking background to have those talks and explain that to to him. Even from now, the company side of hey, here's what the bank is thinking. I mean, I always told him anyways, but now he he gets it even more, and then it also helps that he doesn't have to deal with it anymore. Jeff, what about something personal about yourself that you wouldn't mind sharing with the rest of the CFO council? Well, you already know that I like to play golf, mm. but there is two other hobbies or two are two other hobbies that I like that I just started recently getting into. The first is scuba diving. Ooh, so that's super cool. And I are scuba certified. We got nitrox certified. Um, we did spoil ourselves the first time on our trip. We went to Turks and Caicos for our first dive ever. Um, so I kind of set the bar pretty high. Yeah. Um, and then the second thing is, is skiing. I've never been in, born and raised in Houston. I've seen snow, but it's not real snow. Um, so uh, her, my wife's parents live in Colorado now. Uh, so we went last year, I went skiing for the first time, which was a lot of fun. We've got a, a, a trip planned for spring break. Now the kids are in school. That was it. The other part, it was easier to, when the kids weren't in school, we could go do things. But now we have to go on the peak time, so it'll be it'll be interesting. It might be a little bit better during these 
these COVID times that might get a little bit more ski time in because they are limiting the amount of passes and all that stuff. But it's always good to see see her family too because we don't get to very often. Jeff, question number six. Last question. It happened so fast. What is something that I should have asked you that I didn't ask you? And what is your answer to that? I would say it's kind of maybe implied, but the question you didn't ask is what I was hoping to get out of the CFO Council. Hmm. And for me, my answer to that would be to get more experience or hear other people's experience in all other walks, again, especially for me not being in it as long, you know, as far as my finance career goes. I mean, I, I dealt with it on the banking side, which I think definitely helped give another aspect to it. Um, but just seeing, hearing and seeing the little nuances of everything, all the, like I said, the webinars that are on there, just learning bits and pieces of, hey, here's, here's kind of another issue that we're seeing. What about this? And just growing that network because being on the banking side, I know that the network is the most important thing at the end of the day. Um, so look into look into grow that. Yeah, amen. I feel the same way that it's so nice. Uh, you know, I, I have a day job, the CFO count, CFO of Lifecycle Engineering, and it's so nice to just talk to say somebody else in professional services or even better engineering. Talk to another CFO that's in that industry. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so nice. And it makes such a big difference. And I, I really appreciate that fellowship and um, uh, learning of others. So, Jeff, this was awesome. I love learning about you. Fascinating person. And uh, you've got excellent taste in movies, uh, excellent taste in sports. And I've enjoyed our conversation. So thank you uh, for doing this. I really appreciate that. And good luck with scuba diving and skiing. And uh, good luck and victory for your competition in your nutrition and diet competition. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye.